this is. Okay. <laughs> ow, ow. I'm pulling my hair. It's all falling out. This is not going well. <laughs> it's really pretty. Like, super. <laughs> particular type of a curling iron. Um, it feels like it's been years. I don't even know how long it's been, but it always shows up on my, I think, Instagram and my Facebook feeds. It's constantly on there. Um, I love um, the idea of the cute beach wave curls, and I have tried several different curling irons to do this, to make it work. Um, for a while, I was doing it with my straightening iron, and sometimes they were good, sometimes they weren't. It just was so, um, what's the word I want? It was very unpredictable if my hair was gonna look cute, if it was gonna look terrible and it ended up in a ponytail. And so I keep watching these little ads on there that make it look like your hair is gonna be so freaking cute if you order this curling iron. So I finally bought one. I think I paid uh, $34 for it. And I've never spent that much on a curling iron either. I'm kind of a cheapskate. So are I Actually, probably didn't see it. Good. Yeah, help me, please. <laughs> I can't. I can't get it. See? I told you. Okay, good job, Emmy. So, so this is called a two-in-one hair curling iron. Okay. What the? What? Okay, let me look What's at this. What's going on? This is what I'm saying. I've been looking at one of these. It's a twist styling iron, it says. Oh, me. What the? What? Also, it's like a mirror. The Time brand curling iron, similar to this one, ranges anywhere from $150 to around $200. And so I decided to try this cheaper version first just to see if I liked the style of the curling iron before I shelled out the big bucks. So we're going to plug it in, we're going to get it hot, and we're going to show you if we can make it work. So I turned it on and I'm telling it to go all the way to the highest temperature because my hair is really thick and I have a hard time getting stuff to curl. So what do you think, Emery? How do you think you put your hair in this? Because with, with a flat iron, like a straightening iron when you do your hair, you put it in and you kind of curl it like that and then you just slowly pull it out. Are you closing your eyes? I don't know. All right, let's try to put it back here. Okay. <laughs> ow, ow. I'm pulling my hair. It's all falling out. This is not going well. <laughs> it's really pretty. Like, super Can I pretty. try just doing yes. it straight? I feel like that's how you're supposed to do it. Pretty. Okay. So now I'm going to put it in. And curl it a little. I kind of did a little angle tilt, a little roll. It's making noises. It's growling at me. Oh, I can't leave it. Wow. I'm you should trying. see the, the video of how great this curling iron is. I'm thinking it's not great. What are you saying? Okay, you got to come over here so that I can see. Nothing. It. Okay, now you oh. put a bend in it. You put a bend in it. You did it wrong. Oh, why not? <laughs> what did you do? Oh, it's like, ew. I don't like that. I crimped it. Ew, ew, get it out. It feels so weird as your hair's running through it because it's not straight. It kind of gets stuck in there. Now I have crimpy hair. I wonder if you put it in and go the opposite direction. Let's go, let's curl it this way. Okay, I curled it this way. Still holding the hair. I think that they speed, look, all my hair is falling out the top. That is super annoying. 
and most Ooh. of it fell out the bottom. <gasps> I did it! So you go backwards. Oh. You go the backwards direction you think it would. What do you do? Because I felt like I was putting a clampy in it. Ready? This is too small cookies. Probably, but it's okay. Put it in. And now go this way. <gasps> Yay! That's a perfect curl because I like when it's straight at the bottom. I like when it has to be holding it right because there's just no way that this is the way they want you to hold it because I feel like a complete weirdo. Like holding it towards my face. Ow, now it's pulling in my hair. Ow, 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 ow. Let's see. Do we have curl? A little bit. A little bit of curl. <laughs> Let me try again. Okay. Ow. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ow. I don't like this curling iron. It doesn't like you. What? Okay, so I still don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yes. Bye, Emery. Okay, so we've got a piece of Kinley's hair. Woo, toasty. Is it really toasty? Now we're going to go, see, that's the way I think you should go, but I think you go the wrong way. I think you go the way what feels wrong. Try again. Ouch, it's so hot. I want to do this for school. Yeah, it'd be cute for school if mom could learn how to use this curling iron. It's pulling my hair. The way you think it goes, go the way you don't think it should go. Ready? Kind of. You see it back there? Okay, we've got this little piece of hair. We put it in and we clamp it. And this seems right, this seems wrong. See, that's the problem. I can't tell which is completely wrong because this one looks really wrong. And I think I did it right this time. <laughs> right and wrong. Is it pulling? Yep, see? Oh, beautiful. So I am definitely holding this wrong on some of these curls. Let me see. Put it in. Let me go this way. Is that what I did last time? I can't even remember what I just did in the last curl. There you go. Okay. Ah, we did it again. We are moving and grooving, people. I just kind of did some of the top layers. Obviously down below is still straight, which some people like that as a style too. See, that one's kind of fun just because it's awkward and weird. I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. Kind of cute, right? Kind of, kind of all over the place. Okay, so I gave up trying the other day but he decided I would give it one more try and see if I could figure it out. I watched a few tutorials. Um, they were helpful, but it's very difficult to watch somebody straight on doing something because I'm, it confuses me. Not sure if this is gonna be helpful for anyone, um, but I'm just gonna give my little tips and what I've learned and give a quick little review on what I think about this curling iron. So the first thing that I learned is, number one, always keep your thumb over the power button. Do you see where the power button is inside there? So your thumb always wants to be on this side. And they call this burning hot, that's what they call it. They call this the um, guide side. It's a little bit thicker, as you can see in there. This one's kind of just skinny. Um, this one has an edge to it. And so this is the part that is supposed to be against your head. And then you are supposed to turn. So you put this against your head, like I was saying, and then you turn it. And then you want your hair to come down here. And you don't want to clamp it too much or it'll get a little crease but you want your hair to come down here. And the biggest tip I learned is you pull towards the mirror in front of you, not behind you, not beside you, not out, but towards the mirror, which is really, really awkward. And then you get a little bit of a curl. So let's see if I can do this again, get a little closer. Okay, with Big Red. 
All right, so you put it right there. Clip and go around. And it's helpful to really look in the mirror as you're doing this to see where your hair is to be able to grab it. Let's see. Let's see how this one turns out. I'm still learning. I've done a couple that have turned out really cute. Ooh, I like that one. That one's good. And then I had a piece a little bit ago that I was working on and it just kept coming out straight. But this is the only way that I could figure out how to make it work. Again, like I said, I had a hard time watching the tutorials. See? The side that. turned out much nicer. So I don't think I quite figured out how to do it on the right side as well as the left. Okay, so I'm not ready to give up on this. Ben said, if you don't like it, you should just send it back. And I said, no, I need to give it some more time. I don't even think I'm doing it right. Let me give it some more time before I call it quits and try to send it back. Um, and so I've just been monkeying around for the last little bit with it. And for my left side, one of the tutorials showed how to do it this way and one said, don't do it that way. I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm putting it up over top of my head. And again, I want the guide to touch my head and I pull it and again just straight forward look at my hair smoking that's pretty um, and I realized my hair is super super thick and so I don't think I was being very patient I think that because of watching so that's pretty good so because when I was watching all of the advertisements um, Everybody was curling their hair so speedy Gonzalez, and I just felt like I should be able to do that as well. But I have really, really, really thick hair. So I'm being a little more patient, um, which is not my strong point, um, but going a little bit slower. And my curls are turning out a little bit better. Okay. So let's just do one more. So like I said, I go up over my head, I put the guide near, and I twist and hold the hair down here. Sometimes this happens too, I get wandering hairs. And again, just pull straight down towards your mirror or towards in front of you. And again, I'm going nice and slow. Look at that. I like that. That makes me happy. And I think that the, the more I use it, I will learn how to hold it a little bit better to get different curls. I'm just going to keep playing with it. So I'm not ready to give up on this yet. Um, I'm going to keep trying, keep, keep seeing if I can figure it so out. So just a real quick update on my hair before I head out. This is where we're at. I've lost pretty much all of my curl. I haven't been touching it, but I mean, look at this piece. It's bone straight. <laughs> I don't think I'm meant to have cute curly hair. If anybody has any tips, please let me know. Am I doing something wrong? Should I be putting something on my hair? I don't know. Let me know. Thanks.